All right. If you have clicked on this video, you are here to check out the Madness Gaming Network tutorials on basically everything we do. I'm going to be live streaming uh, several videos today, all in succession. Uh, I'm going to be breaking them down into more digestible sections. Um, today we're going to be covering zero tier, installing and what it does, the PSP emulator focusing around the Monster Hunter content that we're hosting, uh, maybe discuss some other possibilities with it, uh, Incognito Man's Monster Hunter Freedom Unite patch, and uh, the last thing we're going to be getting to, uh, and the reason for the tutorial overhaul is the Nintendo 3DS Citra emulator. Uh, lots to go over and discuss on that. Um, but to get started, let's make a move and look over Zero Tier. So what is Zero Tier? Zero Tier is the network that we use uh, to host multiplayer for basically everything that we play on. Uh, now the, the Madness Gaming Network comprises of two things. It's the physical hardware. I built and own and operate my own server um, and that's that's what's powering everything. Uh, the network that we use to connect all of our devices and all of our games together is zero tier. Um, what's wonderful about this is uh, it's very lightweight. There's not a lot of setup. There's not a lot of work to do with this and to be honest this section of the video is going to be incredibly short. So whatever device you're on this is the zero tier downloads page um, for each of these videos all related materials or links will be available in the description i'll reiterate that a few times but uh, on the zero tier web page you're going to basically come down to these icons click whatever operating system you're going to be using this does work for windows mac and android um, we just recently had our first Linux tester and things have been working very good. So if you're running Linux and you're, you're familiar with that operating system, you too are also welcome to join. Uh, the odd man out is iOS. Uh, going forward with some of the emulator stuff, iOS does work if you have a jailbroken phone. Uh, I do not officially support this. If you are a tech uh, guru and you're very familiar with that side of... Uh, technical know-how you have a jailbroken phone ios does work uh, you don't need jailbroken phone for zero tier on ios it just works natively um, but the ppsspp emulator will need that so uh, from here you're going to go ahead and click download now it's going to download like any other application i'm not going to show the installation it's very straightforward however once it's installed, it's going to look like it disappeared. Zero tier on Windows likes to hide down in the corner. And this is going to be where zero tier hides. It's going to be just this little icon. On Mac OS, it likes to hide up in the top right corner. If it's not there, go to your search bar and type in zero tier. It'll pop up. Um, once you have it installed, all you need to do is go to join network. You'll have this little box pop up. And then you're gonna put in this code right here. This is our network ID. It stays the same, it never changes. All you gotta do is copy this in the description below, throw this in there and hit join. You literally don't have to do anything else. There are multiple settings over here, none of which have to be adjusted. Once you have done that, network testing is not needed. You are essentially connected and ready to go. Um, any more network alterations that are needed for you to participate in the, the games and online activities are done in the emulators or uh, in like the case of Minecraft, uh, you'll put in the, the server I, uh, IP in game. So that's it. Uh, zero tier is a very straightforward system to set up. So uh, that's that kind of wraps up the, the zero tier installation how to. Everything else going forward is going to be uh, emulator specific. So once you're connected, you're good to go.